For now, though, the time is 538. We have more kids heading yes. back to class today. It's amazing. More students are going to be heading back today. Mm -hmm. Next Tuesday, Lawrence County students are going to be heading back. We even have some students who are going to be heading back in September. I know they get know. an extra long summer, so we're going to keep this back to school party going for a while. Yes, and then the football Friday night party starts about two yes. weeks from yes. today with high school football picking up. I think the first scrimmages are today as well, and it's going to be hot for those across central Georgia, especially as we head into the afternoon hours. The radar picture right now is quite Quiet across central Georgia, not seeing any sprinkles like we've seen uh, a few mornings this week. Waking up to the 70, 74 in Byron, Fort Valley, 73, Warner Robins, 74 in Jeffersonville, and 76. Waking up in Washington County this morning, we've got 78 down in Unadilla and 72 in Eastman this morning. We are running actually a few degrees warmer than we have seen the past few mornings. About three degrees warmer here in Macon and five degrees warmer in Swainsboro. Fairly quiet morning across the southeast, just some showers up into Tennessee and Kentucky, and that's about it as we head into the day today. We are going to see some showers in our neck of the woods here in central Georgia. So here we go to the noon hour on into the afternoon. Notice not a whole lot going on and we're only going to see a handful of showers before all is said and done today. So those scrimmages we have tonight should be mostly dry, but also very hot and humid. So be sure to take plenty of breaks and stay hydrated out there. Then once we get into Saturday here, I'm thinking a better rain chance, about a 30% chance of rain, locally heavy downpours, gusty winds, frequent lightning. All of that will be in the picture and then on into Sunday. There we go through Sunday afternoon, much of the same. Then into next week, we remain in this unsettled pattern here in central Georgia as summertime rolls on. You might remember yesterday morning we were talking about potentially a front approaching on Wednesday. Well, the models have kind of backed off on the timing and now they're pushing that to Thursday. So you can kind of see it draped here across northern Georgia on into South Carolina, North Carolina over towards Mississippi. This is Thursday afternoon, so the timing for us is looking more like Friday if it's able to make it here. We did get an update to the drought monitor yesterday. Last week, about a, less than a half of a percent of the state was in drought this week. Now none of the state is in drought, and this is some very welcome news compared to where we were this time two to three months ago here in central Georgia. Also yesterday, we got, got an update to the 2022 hurricane season forecast. We are still expecting an above average season with 14 to 20 named storms, 6 to 10 hurricanes, hurricanes and three to five major hurricanes before all is said and done this year. This does account for the three named tropical storms we have already seen this year. Alex, Bonnie and Colin. 93 going to be the high temperature today. Hot and humid again with that smaller rain chance. Overall about a 20% chance of rain. Sunrise this morning is at 651. Your neighborhood by neighborhood forecast for the day ahead. Looking at temperatures low to mid 90s. Potentially up to 95 out there in Dublin. 92 in Unadilla. 91 in Thomaston and Butler. And 93 in Cordial. Those heat index values today also going to be up there. Talking about it feeling like the upper 90s. Potentially even 100 at times. There's the seven day forecast. Low to mid 90s to go around in terms of the the actual high temperature best chance of rain comes on Sunday right around 40% and then into next week still feeling like the upper 90s with high temperatures and the mid to low 90s.